Welcome back. The Fremantle Dockers enter the 2023 season as a premiership contender, despite having one of the youngest lists in the competition. Justin Longmuir is back on 7 News every Tuesday night. We sat down today for a chat. Well, JL, how do you feel about being a premiership contender from an outside expectation? Uh, oh, I love it. Like, it's, um, it's great to have expectation because it means you're, um, yeah, you're relevant. People are seeing you as a good team. So I, I love it. It's just that we can't get caught up in that talk um, because it counts for nothing. Mm. <laughs> it's told the players when they first got back to you know, the start of pre-season that we start at the bottom. Have you allowed yourself to think what it would be like to be there on that last day and to lift a cup for Fremantle? Do you let yourself think of that? Yeah, of course. Like Your mind drifts there every now and then. Um, absolutely. You've got you know, strong ambitions of... Um, you know, achieving the ultimate. And, um, you know, my goal when I came to the club was to make sure we have a sustained run of success. So, of course, you think about that. Um, but I'm pretty quick, quick to check myself. Like, it's, um, you know, like I tell the players, we've just got to stay in the moment. And that's, that's what the good teams do. Um, high expectations, but understand the process and tick day by day off. And if we do that, yeah, the results will look after itself. I'm going to assume that Fifey's in the team and, and then you're going to have your resting Ruckman probably spend some time forward. Does that mean that really only two of Tabernar, Amos and Tracy can play in the same team or you, you'll be too tall? Is that right? Probably. Probably. Um, you know, some weeks it might be one of those three. You know, we'll, we'll mix and match and whatever's working. Sonny Walters, um, is he going to get up in time? And if he's not 100%, could you play him as a sub, as an impact player? Have you worked out that yet? Yeah, well, it's a balance between what's best for us round one and what's best for us for the rest of the year and, and round two onwards. And um, confident Sonny will play some minutes this week. Um, yeah, where that is, we'll just have to wait up until after we get through training. But um, yeah, he's on the right track. And, he, and if he doesn't play this week in the AFL, it won't be far away. Freddie, is he be ready for AFL action this week? Oh, he'll be right to go. Yeah, he, um, yeah, he's had a couple of full weeks on the track now. It's pretty much since the Port Adelaide game, so he was close for that game. Yeah, didn't want to take the risk in his full trained sense. So, yeah, he'll be a, he'll be he'll be putting his hand up. I'm surprised he hasn't called into my office. <laughs> Can I ask you about a few rapid Jager, Brennan Cox, um, and Luke Ryan? They're all 100% ready to go. Yep, yep, yep. All good. Did you go to Ed Sheeran on the weekend? Yeah, I did. What did you think? I uh, loved it. Yeah, it's good. I um, was a little bit worried about the turf. But... <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was going to ask you. Were you thinking, geez, Ed, you could have come a bit earlier and then we could have played home in round one? Or... Yeah, no, I was, I was hoping he wouldn't get everyone on the grass too wound up and jumping around and <laughs> compact the turf too much. But I think we will get through it and it'll, uh, it'll come up good for round two. Well, good luck this year, mate. Hopefully um, the ultimate success is achieved and you're not just imagining it anymore and you're up there on that last day. Uh, good luck. Thanks, mate.